Hello everyone, welcome aboard. This is going to be lesson number one of beginnersjava.com's tutorial series. I've had that website for about three months. You'd figure I could say the name without stumbling like that. Nope. And this is going to be lesson number one of our tutorials, and we're going to get right into it today. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project, and we're going to select Java. We're going to simply go to Java application. It's going to offer to make this the main class. We do not want it to be. And what we we will do here is we're going to change the name to tutorial underscore one. And we'll hit finish there. And then we're going to add a new file. We're going to go to Java, then to class. We will hit next. And we'll simply name this tutorial underscore one as well. Okay, so as you can see, it's it's given us some stuff here. Um, we don't particularly need this. I like leaving my author tags and things, um, although I don't have it set to do that in C++, as many of you might have noticed. Now, you're going to notice that this says public class right here. And unfortunately, I'm not going to explain that to you right yet. I'm also not going to explain the next line to you either. But aside from that, I'm going to explain pretty much everything to you. Um, it's just that these first two lines are very difficult for people who have not done any programming, and it makes Java unapproachable for a lot of people at first glance. So the next line that you're going to want is really intimidating, but don't worry, in time I promise you'll understand it. Public static void main open parentheses string with an uppercase s args open and close bracket then after that you're going to put in another squiggly bracket and you're going to hit enter and if you're using netbeans that will auto close your bracket in C++ this is equivalent to int main so with that said, these two lines are pretty ugly, but they do have meaning. For now, all you need to know is that public class, the name that's right here needs to be the name of the file. So you see tutorial1.java, this public class needs to have that minus the .java. So if you name this something other than tutorial1, you'll need to change that to whatever the file name is. Okay, so going forward, um, in C++ what I have done is I've given a brief introduction to how to use variables and how to take in user input. Now taking in user input in Java is actually a lot more difficult than it is in C++. So we're actually going to hold off on doing that. Well, we might squeeze it in this lesson. I'll, I'll certainly try, but again, if I show you that something else I'm not going to be able to explain to you right away. So, okay. First things first. This is a, a proper language tutorial, so the first thing we need to do is output hello world. Okay, so without any further ado, the way you output things in Java is by typing system dot out dot print and dot print means that we're going to print it right where it is I prefer print lin because this prints a whole line so we'll get into the differences between just printing something somewhere and doing a whole line but for now if we were to just simply run our project oops I actually should have made this the main class but no matter. I'll just do a debug file. And if I do that, you'll see that it says hello world after a little bit of other stuff in our output window. Um, chances are good if you're running this you can close tasks and breakpoints and probably search results as well, as we won't be using those for quite a while yet. So okay, as you can see the above 
simply outputs hello world. Now we're going to quickly cover how to declare a variable and we're going to declare an int which is an integer. An integer is a whole number. And if you watch the language agnostic logic lesson, you would notice that I said an integer were things like 1, 3, 7, 27, 91, you know, whatever. Those are all integers. And the way to declare a variable that is an integer is as follows. We simply type int, which is short for integer, then we'll type a, and then we'll specify that a is equal to 0. And now if we wanted to output a, as I'm sure many of you might want to do, we would type system.out.println, and this time we wouldn't use any parentheses, and inside those, uh, or n not, we would still put in parentheses, we wouldn't put in quotation marks, my apologies, and we would type a, and then after everything's said and done, we would have a semicolon. Now, you guys might be wondering, why? what are these lines in here that are grayed out? And that's a great question. They're what's known as comments. And comments are extremely important in programming. They tell uh, anybody who looks at your code what you're doing. It's a way for somebody who's unfamiliar with what you've done to become familiar with it. And, you know, I'm using it to explain concepts. But a lot of the time, maybe you'll see something where it says int a equals zero, and you know somebody might say a is the starting value of the product or something like that. So when you're using commenting, it's it's nice. It helps out other people, and if you go away from your own project, it might help you understand what you were thinking. All right, I suppose that I'm going to try to show you guys how to uh, how to use the the input method with Java. I do warn you it's a lot more complicated than C++. It's not my favorite uh, thing to teach people because it turns a lot of people off uh, from Java because the first thing they see when they look at the top of, of this file is four lines that are dense and very hard to understand. But the way that you do it is you type in include, or I'm sorry, import, and we type in java.util.scanner. And scanner has a capital S. So now comes the fun part. Type in scanner input equals new scanner, open parentheses, system.in. So now, this right here is what actually allows us to take in a user variable. And like I said, it's really ugly. I'm not going to explain exactly why we do it that way. What I will explain though is in probably about 10 to 15 lessons, I'll go deeply into what that means and you'll understand it much better than if I try to do it now. If I try to do it now, it will really just be a big waste of time. But for now, what I will do is I will declare another variable. And we'll type b equals zero. And even though I'm going to be allow allowing the user to set this, it's a good habit to set things to zero. Um, we'll be talking about why that is in the next language agnostic logic uh, uh, lesson. So for now, to take in a, a value for b, we're first going to tell the user that we want something from them. So we do a system.out.println and we say enter a value for integer b. And then we're going to type b equals input dot next int. And so after we do that, we're simply going to output b, system dot out dot b. 
or we can do it like this. We can then put a quotation mark and say b is equal to, and then when we do a, a string, which is what this is technically considered, and then we want to add a variable onto the end of it, we need to use a plus sign. And in this case, we're using plus b because that's the name of our variable. So when we give this a run, we're going to hit OK here. And as you can see, it says hello world. And then it outputs 0 because that's what a is equal to. It asks us to input a value for integer b. I'll say 101 because that's my favorite amount of Dalmatians. And as you can see, it then prints out b is equal to 101. So that's been a very simple overview of just declaring variables, setting variables based on user input, and outputting things to the console, which is what this is called down here. Uh, this is known as the console. So for now, I'm going to leave this be. Um, we will be getting into a lot more in the next few lessons. Uh, and please, do not let these four lines scare or otherwise intimidate you. For now, I know it sounds silly, but just trust me, we will get into them later. But for now, just copy, look along, and try to absorb what you can. My name's Damien, and I hope that you've enjoyed this lesson. Um, please come back to beginnersjava.com, and we will do our absolute best to get you knowing and understanding Java as quickly as possible. Have a good evening.